When I study the Bible, there's one tool that I use above every other tool, other than, of course, my thick, my big thick Bible, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. And this one tool has literally transformed the way that I studied the Bible over the like the last 15 years or so. So this is going to be a short video. I'm going to do a screen share to capture exactly how I use this tool some of the features behind it, and I hope you get a lot out of it, because for me, nothing in my life has been more important than studying God's Word, just listening to what He has for me. And I recommend it to everybody uh, to lead a rich, fulfilling life, and because of what I do as a coach, to have the most successful career possible. So stay tuned, and I'm going to teach you how I study the Bible. Hi, my name is Sean Summerkamp, and this is Motivation Ear Christian Coaching. After making that brief introduction, I realized, well, I can't exactly show you all the things that I do to study the Bible, but I want to show you this one tool. Before I do, um, I carry a, a regular Bible. Yeah, I use apps all the time. Like I have mentioned many times on this channel, I don't use paper except for my journal and my Bible. And this Bible, the Bible that I always buy because I have to end up buying lots and lots of new ones all the time because I wear through them. You'll notice, maybe, that there's a lot of white space. This is called a wide margin Bible. The Cambridge, I don't think this is the Cambridge edition. This is the New American Standard, which Cambridge edition doesn't, doesn't make in the NASB. But I always use this wide margin because I like to write notes in the margins. Notes that can help me. I'm going to try to find some real quick. Probably would have been best to have some prepared. Notes that allow me to cross-reference different passages to make links or chains in the scripture and chains of my understanding. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to find any super long ones. I'll just show you this little, this one here. <laughs> I don't even know if this is interesting to you. Maybe I'm doing this video more for me. But when I write them in the margin, it gives me um, greater insight as I'm reflecting when I'm reading. So that is a big part of what I do. But now I want to show you the tool, the software tool I use that has changed my life. I love this tool. I support it financially, not a lot, but some. And uh, I don't know where I would be in my understanding of God's words with, without this. Um, I'm going to share my screen now so you can see it. This tool, drum roll please, is the Blue Letter Bible. Uh, I know lots of other ones like Logo software exists and others. I've tried all of them. Nothing for me has been quite like this. There's a couple of features here that have been so easy and fundamental for me to use. I just want to show them to you now. So let's say you're going to research a passage. Let's make it something in 1 John chapter 2. The way that it works is you choose whatever version that you want here. You'll see I have an ASB. I, that's my favorite version of all time. And then here you have, and it kind of looks like this on the app as well, the verses one at a time with a little tools button to the left of it. When you just hover over without clicking it, you can see interlineal, interlinear, Bibles, cross-reference, commentaries, dictionaries, and miscellaneous. If you click on that, this main verse stays up top and all the other verses stay below, but temporarily you get that same hover effect across the top here. Interlinear, Bibles, cross-reference commentaries, dictionaries, miscellaneous. And this is for people who do parse Greek. If you want to know more about the Greek words, which I have found this to be very useful for me, um, it will show you the forward, where it, how it was originally written, and then the reverse, so it kind of looks like our own language in the way that we speak. My little children, I am writing these things. That's forward. Reverse is, little children, my, these things I am writing to you. This is how it appeared in the, when it was originally documented. So let's say you want something about writing stood out to you when you were reading this passage. Using this method, 
It shows you the Strong's number, which is a massive, thick concordance, a lot of research done, and the how the Greek word appears, how the Greek word is transliterated, and then you can actually hear how it's pronounced. Strong's G, 1125. Grafo. Now, because I totally overused this passage, let's go to the one I overused, Romans 12, too. Click here. Let's go ahead and select interlinear. And do not be conformed. There's the Greek word conform, syskematizo, to this world, because there is no pattern to this world in the original Greek, but be transformed, metamorpho. Let's hear what they have to say about it. Strong's G, 3339, metamorpho. There you go, metamorpho, much better. By the renewing of your mind, no, so. Let's say this idea of not being conformed is important to you. Let's, no, let's do world. Click on the Strong's number. And what it does is it breaks it all down for you, how to pronounce it, how many times it's used, the different inflections, etc. And then because this is kind of grounded in the King James, it shows how often it's used in the King James. But here's where it gets really profound for me. At the very bottom of this list, it shows you everywhere that word is used, and it has the little Strong's number to it. So in the verse that we read in Romans 12, 2, it said world, but in Matthew 12, 20, 32, in the NASB, the word age is used. Same Greek word, but it's used as age. Matthew 13, uh, 22, world. Age, age, age. And you can just see every place it's used in the New Testament. This is really life-changing for me because I get to kind of make connections with other verses and why things were used in a certain way all across the Bible. I do study just books of the Bible at a time for sure, but the topical studies across all of the 66 books has been really most impactful for me. So using that tool, Blue Letter Bible, click on the Strong's number next to the word after you expand that verse, shows you where they're all used. Now, in my understanding of the scriptures, I also reference very frequently what other commentators say, commentarians say about a different Bible, a certain Bible verse. Blue Letter Bible has some of the most profound biblical commentaries ever written. And to get back to them, you just go here. Let's do the back arrow. You have interlinear Bibles, cross-reference, and then commentaries. When you first click it, at the top are the text commentaries, and then you can see on the left, audio. Text commentaries, Chuck Smith, everything he wrote about Romans 12 too. David Guzik. And then my favorite all time, Matthew Henry. This Matthew Henry, the way that he did the commentary is brilliant. I won't get into that. Maybe in the future I'll do one just on the Matthew Henry commentary. But look at all these other ones. Jameson, Fawcett, and Brown, one of the most cited commentaries from all theologians and historians, Jameson, Fawcett, and Brown. They're here, right inside Blue Letter Bible. Per Spurgeon is here. Lightfoot, another brilliant theologian that's referenced almost as much as Jameson, Fawcett, and Brown. It's all right here. So this is a, a couple of the reasons why I use the Blue Letter Bible. It has changed the way that I study the Bible. I didn't even get into some of the other features, which maybe I'll do it at another time. But those two, having the commentaries easily there, and then the breaking out and parsing of each Greek word, whether it's forward or reverse interlinear, so we can see how it was originally captured in the Greek, or more uh, conversationally how we speak it, we can see the arrangement of the words, parse them according to their gra grammatical tense, and then click on it to find where it's at in the rest of the Bible. If you just try that one feature, pick your start with your favorite verse in the New Testament. Use this for that one favorite verse. Look at the Greek words and the words that stand out to you be, that make it the favorite. See where else they appear in the New Testament. And you'll see how this is going to really change the way that you perceive what God is teaching you right through his word. After you've used it for a little while, if you remember, come back to this video and let me know some of your comments. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them also in the comments below.
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for two new videos each week. Tell me in the comments below about your career situation and I'll make a video for you with a shout out. You can also become a member at motivationeer.com. Your career is not just a way to make a living, it's a way to transform the world.